today we're going to answer once and for all which max movement speed SMG is the absolute best in Warzone. With the correct builds, the Superi and the Static have some of the most insane movement in the history of Warzone. We're going to put them head to head first in a data and stats analysis. Next up, I'm going to put them in a live game environment where I'm going to show off mid game, the kind of crazy 1v4s you can pull off, end game where that max mobility comes in handy for insane rotations, outflank, outmaneuver your opponents to pull off crazy clutches. Going to pick up three or four dubs with each. Then at the end, I'm going to show off the builds and we are going to determine a winner. Let's get into it. I'm on my favorite website for Warzone stats analysis, True Game Data, and we have the TTK chart up with my builds for the Superi and the Static. And as we can see on a combination 300 health TTK chart, the Superi wins by just a bit out to almost 12 meters, and then the Static pretty much dominates it at every range. Um, We'll find out in the gameplays how important that is. Obviously, up close is going to be the most important when we're running a max movement speed build, but it is worth noting the static is going to be a lot more versatile at dealing with mid-ranges while being quite close, um, neck and neck up close anyway. And if we look at DPS, which does a better job of kind of reflecting how much damage it does to targets of varying healths, um, the... Static actually wins even up close, right? So that must mean the Superi kind of barely hits that TTK shots to kill threshold to a 300 health target up close. Um, but you're going to get more consistent TTKs with the Static. So that's definitely worth noting. Let's have a look at the movement and handling stats. The ADS movement on the Static is 3.9 meters per second, whereas the Superi is only 3.3. Um, that's how fast you move while you're strafing. Um, pretty significant while you're trying to sauce a team, and the static beats it there substantially. Um, 206 to 188 milliseconds um, in favor of the static on ADS time. Um, crouch speed, which seems to impact like your sliding, is basically neck and neck. Um, and you slide cancel more often than people realize, so I think that's important. Um, the movement speeds, 6 meters per second to 5.6, where the superior has the advantage, quite substantial. Um, sprint speed, 6.6 .6 to 6.5 meters per second. Superior gets a slight edge. And uh, tack sprint, the Superior gets all the way up to 8.4 meters per second versus just over 8 for the static. So basically the static has more well-rounded uh, movement and handling stats, um, but the Superior has that breakneck um, sprint, tack sprint, and movement speed. Um, so it kind of follows a similar theme to the TTKs where the Superi um, is faster in a dead sprint, closing that gap, um, whereas the Static kind of offers uh, a more versatile um, stat profile. And uh, with all that in mind, let's get into the gameplay and see which one is best. These nerds playing trades with the same skin on. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the guys.
Oops. Enemies deploy the counter UAV. Who the fuck are they? You're not that guy, bro. You didn't even get my plates.
got fucking beamed. I actually think this was dumb. I, I don't. I think I should have seen what the pull was. I mean, we're frying, and so I guess we'll see. Mm, those guys got pull. It's actually super fucking unfortunate. Fuck yeah, dude. Wow. No audio right there. Jesus. Right here, right here. Ten remain. 
Beam You're almost Beam done here. Spike one. Beam shit, boy. Don't play with me. Oh, Enemy I got fire station deployed. Enemy soldier in. That riot shield. That buy station at the top. Is my plate canceling? <clears throat> Dude, where's my uh, quick fix proc? <laughs> Don't even need it. Holy sh! Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplays. Uh, this challenge was a ton of fun. You can't really go wrong with either sub. They're both incredible, as was demonstrated um, in those crazy clutches and high kill games. Um, by the way, that just took me a couple hours to, to grind those gameplays. Like, these are the absolute top tier of meta subs. They're just awesome. Get your screenshot ready. This is the static build. I am rocking. And over here, we've got the superior. Um, I do want to give my conclusion of which one I think is best. If I'm looking at the just kind of overall meta SMG, I would give uh, the edge slightly to the static. Okay, it just has a little bit more well-rounded handling and movement stats um, while falling just a bit short um, in the one area of like absolute like sprint speeds. Um, and then on the damage profile, it has a more consistent TTK up close, okay, and way, way, way better range. However, the initial question we asked was, what is the best max movement speed SMG? And for that, I personally have to go with the superior. I think um, if you're a hyper-aggressive player, um, you know, having an extra almost half a meter per second of tack sprint is going to get you into the mech mix finessing teams i was having an easier time pulling off crazy 1v4s with the superior um the static i think is better in a context of other play styles right or if you have teammates with you but if you're trying to be that demon that movement demon get into teams faces and cause havoc um i think you can't go wrong with the superior and i think that's why so many of that playstyle player gravitate toward the superior especially like in public lobbies so if i'm going into a tournament if i'm going into a high tier ranked i probably will bring a static however if i'm trying to pub stomp 1v4 i'm probably rocking the superior let me know i'm dying to know what you guys think um and Furthermore, if this is a style of video you guys like, I had so much fun making this. 
Um, and I feel like I was able to give you guys a lot of really good information and gameplay to sort of match um, and demonstrate what we're trying to convey. But uh, I also want to know you guys' opinion, which one wins out. Don't forget, we are running Community Nukes on the Twitch all day today. If it's fun, we're going to keep doing it. Um, if you're new around here, consider subbing. Would love to have you in the GigaFam. Uh, likes, comments, shares, all that stuff. It helps the platform. I appreciate it. No pressure, though. Lucky to even have you here. And much love. Peace.